CB says, when is your X-Men 97 episode nine review? Right now, CB. Thank you so much. I can't wait to talk about this episode. Let's get it, baby. Before we get started, I'll share my non-spoiler thoughts. And then, right before we get into spoilers, I'll warn you guys, spoilers. I'll give you like three seconds, and then we'll get into it. My first thoughts after watching episode nine was, oh my goodness, they cooked. Honestly, X-Men 97 is shaping up to be the best show, show of 2024. I'm not even joking. The way they managed to continue keeping us so engaged, leaving us with cliffhangers, shocking us, obliterating expectations is truly mind blowing. The dialogue, the animation, the voice work, the characterization of all of these characters is so faithful to the source material. It's just, it's just pure love and care for the X-Men, something that they've been deserving of since the Brian Singer movies. This episode was literally 20 years in the making. And I love that it came full circle with the costumes because in Brian Singer's X-Men movies, they didn't want to do the yellow spandex or colorful costumes that the X-Men are known for. They did the black leather. Well, now it's time to embrace who the X-Men are to their core and the show does it perfectly. Seeing the original costumes on the mutants was immensely nostalgic and I think narratively, visually powerful as it's a reminder as to why the X-Men walk Professor X's peaceful path until they can't anymore. The ending, the ending ripped my heart out. It was so shocking, graphic. How did they get away with that? It was unreal. And by the way, that line where Magneto says to Charles, gods abandon those who refuse to believe in them. Mutants don't. Whoa. All right, now let's talk about the spoiler. Spoiler warning, one, two, three. I cannot believe this happened. Magneto ripped Wolverine's adamantium out of his body. What? This is like the craziest thing I have ever seen Magneto do. And he just shut off the entire world the episode before. What a glorious moment, I think, in X-Men history. The metal man, Wolverine, versus the master of magnetism. The Holocaust survivor versus the soldier who was also there in World War II. I love what Wolverine said. Logan says, been in a lot of wars, bub. The brave always die first. As he gets Magneto. But then, like some people were saying, how ironic that Wolverine goes out like this. He better not be dead. Bring my boys bone claws back, baby. Yeah! 